Oscar yeah. in the Yo, room. how you feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm giving you some school crossing guard, but making fashion vibes. This yeah. Hey, I like that. Yeah. You're a highlighter. Matching with my highlighter. Oh, Boom. my gosh. Oh, the human highlight reel. <laughs> <laughs> what better on a, on a week we're sponsored by Nike to have MJ here. I love right? that. It's absolutely perfect. 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 And what a show we got. We you know there are 15 quarterbacks whose futures are up in the air. Everybody from Tom Brady, who knows, Dak Prescott, Joe Flacco. We did all of them. Teddy B, of course. We're going to play our version of roulette. That's just, you, you see us playing it right there, and Nate's doing the walk. It's called Catch 32. You never know where it's going to land. How about this? Patrick Mahomes revealed something surprising over the weekend. He does not mute Peter on Twitter. No, he follows Peter, and he went into the shop and did a little bit of a hashtag not to brag thing about himself yeah. that maybe we're just getting started, Shregs. Yeah. Haircut time. Haircut time. Oh. They lined him up, and we got a fantastic guest coming to the studio. It's like the biggest stories from around the league. Dak Prescott, no, even better. Peter King is going to be our Monday morning quarterback. He's coming in. We will hit him with everything. Let's get started. MJ Week, let's go. Let's go. Woo, I like it. I thought Peter King is fantastic. He's the best. Oh, yeah. Can't wait for he's Peter King. The, he's the GOAT. Yeah, he's he the is GOAT. the GOAT. You're right about that. And he's his perfect segue into our lead block. Oh. Now, the deadline of fran to franchise tag a player is this Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern. The Cowboys are still working to reach a long-term deal with their QB, Dak Prescott. Now, the Dallas Morning News reports the Cowboys' latest offer to Prescott includes a $33 million annual salary with $105 million in guarantees. That's huge. Mm. I've heard you all debate at this breakfast table why this deal has taken so long. I mean, it's been 84 years. <laughs> Literally. But what advice would you give Dak Prescott in handling this situation with the Cowboys? Peter, what's up, man? I want you to talk, because when we talk money, you always break it down so eloquently. Dollars and cents. Let's Dak go. Prescott had an agent <laughs> coming out of college when he was at Mississippi State. He had an agent, and everything was going fine. It was a fourth-round pick, fine. Dak Prescott replaced his agent with Todd France, who is a heavy hitter. Todd France is CAA and is one of these guys that was Aaron Donald's agent when he held out, was Bosa's agent when he held out. Is gonna, he's now Joe Burrow's agent. Like, Todd France is not one who suffers fools. So if I'm Dak Prescott, I look at him and said, hey, you didn't hire Todd France to take a hometown discount. You didn't hire Todd France to be the nice guy in town. If I'm to Dak Prescott and I'm giving him advice at this point in the game and it's a week removed or a week in advance of when this whole thing's going to go down, I'd say you got to hold your ground. Mm -hmm. Like This is why you made that. That's why you didn't accept the deal last time. This is why you played on the contract you were the last four More? years. I, hold your ground. Like, if you believe this is the move, you wouldn't have left your old agent to hire a new one, and you don't have to do it with some outward insultant behavior. You don't have to do it and be disrespectful to the Cowboys. You don't have to say anything. Just don't accept the deal until you feel comfortable. And I know you're watching at home, you're saying, Dak Prescott, they went 8-8 eight and eight last year, yeah, yeah. you know, they lost to Boston Scott and Greg Ward. It doesn't matter what you think at home, and it doesn't matter what the Cowboys think. Dak Prescott is his own business right now. He's the CEO of Dak Prescott Incorporated, and he fired the old person that was running his business to hire a new one to get him more money. So if I am Dak Prescott this morning waking up on another week in my NFL career, Without a new contract, and I'm looking at 33 million, and everyone's saying, sounds pretty good to me, 105 guaranteed, sounds pretty good. I would tell Dak Prescott, you are all in on this point, 10 toes in. I would hold your ground, and I would just follow your lead of the business partner you just selected. Yeah, Jay Z once said, uh, I'm not a businessman, I'm a business man. man. Yeah. And for everybody that is sitting there worried about the business of Dak Prescott, I would also say, mind your business man. Um, you, said it, you said it right. You don't need to go out there and say anything. And here's the thing. Dak Prescott, he hasn't come out and spoke against the Cowboys, spoken against Jerry Jones, even spoke against their business practices, even though they have already handed out money to a couple of his teammates this past offseason. They say that the squeaky wheel gets the grease, right? They also say that the goodwill gets kicked to see if it still works. And he's been a good will. But what have we been doing? What have the cows and Cowboys been doing? They've been kicking at the will of Dak Prescott. You know, is he good enough? Boom, boom. Does he have a right arm? Boom, boom. Is he a leader? Boom, boom. And guess what? They kicked him, and he works, and he's good, and he's better than most. There's a lot of $100 million quarterbacks out there that Dak Prescott in his first four years have trumped. Listen, in four years, two division titles, never missed a game, and I feel like the losses, they are unfairly placed on Dak Prescott. Got shoulders. Right now, you're talking 105 guarantee. I say go ahead, put that wheel to the ground, 
back that truck up and get <laughs> your money and then hit the road. Because $100 million plus guaranteed mm -hmm. for a guy who wasn't supposed to be the starting quarterback for the Cowboys, that's just the beginning. And not to mention, you add on the star on the side of the helmet. Mm -hmm. What did Emmitt mm -hmm. Smith say? Mm -hmm. Being a Cowboy, Cowboy for life. the gift that keeps on giving. It's a different mm -hmm. gravitas for sure. That's right. Wait, and now time out, because Nate, you've said all Please. along that he shouldn't just take, you get more than that, and he should be making Russell, you're saying now, take the money now? He shouldn't make Russell Wilson money. Russell Wilson is a Super Bowl champion. He should be at the top when it comes to highest paid quarterbacks. We're talking, you know what I always wanted Dak Prescott to make over $100 million? Mm -hmm. and, and that's, that was the number for that you. Was that was the number for me. He because shouldn't stand his ground. Speaking, speaking for the quarterbacks that I love, Matt Stafford, Kirk Cousins, who I appreciate, Derek Carr, who's a $100 million quarterback, Jimmy Garoppolo, who's a $100 million quarterback, Dak Prescott should be in their conversation, not the Russell Wilson conversation. What the Cowboys are doing here is they're extending their hand to Dak Prescott. They're saying we've had disagreement. They're looking to shake hands, and he damn well better shake it. A little something about me. I live in Westchester, New York. You might have heard about it over the weekend. Um, I never felt better in my life. I'm healthy, I'm happy, and I spent the weekend out and about doing whatever I wanted to do, conservatively, safely, but I'll tell you, there were many times this weekend I saw acquaintances, friends, hey, how you doing, man? Ugh. They go with the elbow. They try to hit me with the elbow like an Oswald Cobblepot, a completely undignified response to my handshake. It's insulting. I didn't like it. I was pissed off. It, it makes me like I'm infected or I'm some sort of leper or something like No, I'm washing. I'm sanitizing. I'm safe. I think the Dallas Cowboys are reaching out to Dak and saying, you know what, Dak? You never miss games. You get us to the playoffs. You're coming off your best year. You had the number one offense. $100 million. Don't be elbowing the Dallas Cowboys. Don't do that. Because you know what they do if you do this? They can tag you. They can do a lot of other things. You want to play hardball? You want to insult us like that in public in front of all of our friends? Be very careful doing that. Because I would take the $100 million, and then I would call the people at Chunky, the people at Pepsi, the people at Oikos. <laughs> you know what I tell the people at Oikos? I would say, Plirose me, which means pay me in Greek. I'm going to be the Dallas Cowboys starting quarterback for the next decade. I'm set, boys. Let's shake hands. Pagame. That's in Spanish. Pagame. Pagame. Perfect. Is, the, is there a point where the Cowboys would walk away, though, and say, you know what? Yeah. 33, 105 million. You say, no, okay, the, the offer's off the table. That's the problem, right? Like, that's the question. And then, is there a long line of teams that would pay Dak that money? I think there would be a few that would be willing to entertain thoughts. I do, too. But I don't know if there's a $33 million contract waiting from a team that doesn't have a quarter. Like, I don't think it's going to get to that point, though. I can't see this. Don't the Cowboys tag as a recourse? They could. The thing? Or they could say, like the Panthers did to Josh Norman a few years ago, you know what, you want all that money? and we're... No, we're not going to tag. We'll tag Amari Cooper. We'll call it a day. We'll get another quarterback. Josh Norman at the QB1. He's yeah. the whole team here for Dallas. I mean, what else do they got? MJ, you've been working like crazy, and we talked about this early in the 5 a.m. meeting. And I, I know as a businesswoman, you're thinking to yourself, I put the work in. Yes. I should get paid for the work that I put in. Appreciate it for my work. Okay. When you look at Dak Prescott, I mean, do you see them appreciating him for the work that he's put in? I mean, they have to. You can't look at the metrics and you can't look at the top five paid QBs and not have him in that conversation. Last year, I remember when they when they played um, at, at Levi Stadium, yeah. it was a preseason game. We had this conversation on the radio uh, with some of the Dallas media. Mm -hmm. And at that point, we were doing the comparison with Jimmy Garoppolo and him making all of this money over $100 billion. And he hadn't even reached the Super Bowl yet. He right. was coming off of a 4-12 and season. Mm. Meantime, like you mentioned, Dak has more than proven that he is a guy who is not only a guy that works, yep. that puts in the work, has not missed the game, but also a leader for that team. And yep. Talking about him making moves, I can't see him meshing or fitting in with another team the way he does mm -hmm. with the Dallas Cowboys. Mm -hmm. I do think that they appreciate him. But this little game, though... <laughs> That's real. It says I a lot. mean, Time I know. Is Time is ticking. Let's hey, go. Buccaneers call. Buccaneers say, hey, Dak Prescott, be our new quarterback for $34 million. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could see that happening if mm -hmm. he's a free agent. There's a lot of teams in the NFL who have quarterbacks they like that the don't. Colts. Colts? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. there is a market for Dak Prescott. Sure. So both sides need to play this carefully. I, the Cowboys, though, I don't, I don't see them. I don't see Jerry Jones. A billionaire whose business is worth $6 billion and then some is going to suddenly bend and say, you know what? 35 million. We love you, yeah. Dak. He hasn't done it yet. He did it for Zeke last year, though. He you did. Know what I'm it took a minute. That's why it's tough. It did take a minute. But he did it. But Stand I your ground, right? I think so. You don't hire that agent if you want to take a hometown right. discount. That and was his point. bold move. Yeah, and to your point, listen, every billionaire has a backup plan. They don't have a backup plan to Dak Prescott right mm -hmm. now. So the mm -hmm. leverage, that I part. feel like, is in Dak's pocket. Hey, listen, don't you guys go anywhere. Who would you rather have at your QB next season? Is it Brady? 
or is it Garoppolo? Super Rush. Are we having this conversation?